This one. Okay, as he's going to see him until Hans Cooper. This one. Yeah. Hard album or what album? Mixed albums. It's, I like it. It's a, you like the album. See, I can't like really say. I can't really say much on CDs because people have a different review. Yeah. So I can't give them it yeah. out of ten because people might like the album, some people don't. The Eyes of Us Coop, which is the best one ever made. Love it, love the album. This one's alright. It's on the castle it's on the castle issue. Um yeah. Cruel Planet. Album. It's a fair album. I saw because Bob Ezra produced it and his his mate Bob Marlett as well. So, yeah. See what you think. Next one. Right, we're going to Def Leppard now. Def Leppard, I love the band. But some of the albums, I'm going to quickly say that some albums I love, some albums I hate. The best albums I do recommend to get is this one, for the early stuff. On Through the Night. Some good tracks produced by the band. Is all right, but this one beats the shit out of the album. <laughs> Hysteria, come on! If you haven't got this in the collection, you've got to have this in your collection. It's brilliant, awesome, awesome album. Sound quality is good. Um, there isn't a reissue out of this one, I've shown there isn't, but this is brilliant. This CD, we tell you, this is really the definitive Def Leppard album ever made. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend this one. Hi, hi. This album. Uh, the vinyl version of it is really good, mm-hmm. very good indeed. This version is our. This version is good. Uh, gotta say, eclipses oh, everything about Def Leppard altogether as to when the commercial music came in and rocked the system. Um, what I will do later on, I'll take time. I will make a, a list of highly recommended albums. There by you me. go. By me. Mm-hmm. I used to buy. And we'll show my camera. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There you go. So there you go. So we'll do that later. We'll take time. We'll take time. Till Hysteria. Def Leppard. About once time we'll do it. And um, good album. Recommended. This album is not recommended at all. This is just. I think I'll that one. I think it's time to get rid of this one. Definitely, what? it's crap. Clearly I'm sorry, but yeah. this is not Def Leppard at all. It just sounds like a pop band, like like New Kids on the Block. Who? New Kids on the Block. Who? New Kids on the Block. Who? Never heard of New Kids on the Block. No, I'm not here. It's oh, it's a boy band. Uh, right. Take that. What them pops? Yeah, they can't sing live. I know they can't sing live. Right. Crap, anyway, anyway, I've got to say this album's got to have to go on the break because we 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 can't say anything. We don't want we don't want to know about it. But I do apologise for any Def Leppard fans who like it. If people if Def Leppard fans like it, get it. But we don't. But I'm not saying I'm not criticising me. No, 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 we're not criticising anybody about this. We just want to say that it's just a right. rubbish album. This one is oh yeah, again, but we might like that album. Yeah, there you go. We do not like it. This one, mm. I like it. Fair, 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 fair album. Um, it hasn't got less get rocked in this one. Well, like you say with Def Leppard, I have spoken uh, to a few people and they said like the early stuff's better mm-hmm, than the mm-hmm. newest stuff. There's some songs in here written by Mutt on this as well. I just realised. Uh, Rock Tea Drops good. Um, this album is actually pretty good too. Hysteria, I think. Oh, I think we'd say it was pop too, but it's a it's a mixed album. Well, it's, it's similar, but this album is okay. It's all right. It's just it's it's just this one. We don't. This is one that's just meh. Anyway, this one. Paramania. Good. Got to say, thank you to everybody who's been viewing our channel. By the way, we love it. We're just doing something different this time. Queen is coming back in the next couple of months, about three weeks time. So we'll keep you updated on the Queen stuff. We're gonna do some CD. We already just doing. We do half of the CD collection now. So there you go. <laughs> half of it. Some more to come as well. Okay. Yeah, this is the first half. It's obviously 10 to, 10 to 11 on this Saturday night. We had nothing to do, so we thought we'd do it. Anyway, now we're going on to one of the most respected guys I love. He was in Rainbow. And he's back now. He was with Tenacious D, who did Push. Uh, well, you know the video Push they did. With him. Push. Push. Not that one. Ah, Push. Wee. Wee, wee. Push. Nah. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit, That's the only video I like of this, actually. This one, his first album, is brilliant. The, the final version 
is brilliant. The CD version sucks. CD version sucks badly. The sound quality is awful on this. What We Die was brilliant. One of his best songs ever written this. Then it was covered by Kill Switch Engage. Kill Switch's version is brilliant. I have to explain. But what we did was when I mixed two tracks together of the deal and the Kill version. And I have to agree, both versions are like, just about the same. <laughs> but it's good. I'll play a bit, I'll play a bit of that later on as well when we, get, when we get a chance. But yeah, this first album, I do say it's brilliant. Especially, especially the vinyl version is bad. Terrible, terrible copy of this. Terrible. Well, I like it. Then, yeah, I love the album. Especially then I like the final then I like and I like this compilation the only compilation you can't get it anymore you know this is a, there's a mistake on this as well I've just noticed oh, it no. on the back of this it's supposed to say rock and roll no sacred children it doesn't it's actually sacred heart and it's in the it's in this booklet as well so sacred children is not called that it's called sacred heart because it's from the album you made it's in here sacred hearts in there children see rock and roll children sacred children mistake and there's no copyright but they go on there either ah you check it out in the booklet it says sacred hearts sacred children doesn't make any sense <laughs> rare album that one um best track on there i'd say is everything that i think the first time you ever hear that track hungry for heaven which is an awesome song I've got to say that hungry for heaven rocks 10 times better it's not quite in there, is very, very nice. Oh, yeah. And you know, it's Sacred Children, Sacred Heart. <laughs> it's called Sacred Heart, actually, in the song. It doesn't say Sacred Children on it, it's just a mis a misprint on the disc. So, we've got that disc, by the way, just to mix up with the track listing for some reason. This is the Sickness album. I've got to say, this band I love, the song I love, Monkey Song, is brilliant. I know, but I like calling the monkey song because I just yeah. ooh, ah, 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 can't do that actually. Disturbs the sickness album. Uh, yeah. I thought there was Santa Rover but they're not. Um, yeah? I didn't really interest him? No. Yeah. It's weird. Sacred Heart, Sacred Children. I've had a oh. CD hmm. for about four or five years. Yeah. First time I noticed that. I noticed that, like, previously until. It's weird. Anyway, weird, the sickness yeah. by the. The dark, the dark, ooh, I was going to say that word there. Disturbed, the sickness album. I'll just say it's brilliant. Uh, especially the, the, the title track is awesome. Just got to say, it's just a brill. Monkey song, definitely recommend it. I call it the monkey, I just call the monkey song for God's sake. It's not Michael like Jackson. I know it's the monkey song. I'm going bubbles. <laughs> yeah, Don't bubbles. start that again. Oh, anyway, bubbles. that that one's recommended. This next one, The it's Cult. The Cult. We reviewed their album, Electric. This one, Sonic Temple. Second best album ever recorded. Brilliant CD. Very hard to get this one. Bob Rock produced it. Obviously Metallica producer. On the Beggar's Banquet label. Got to say, hard to get. Awesome album. Awesome tracks. The most definitive ever CD coming out of Beggar's Banquet is the Pure Cult. The final, final uh, compilation album, only compilation album they released. Got seashells, she, I can't say the word, she sells sanctuary on it. One of the most best songs ever written by the band. Also got The Witch, also got some brilliant tracks in here. I really do recommend to get it. If you can get it, if you can download, you can. This CD is awesome. The vinyl version of it is brilliant. It's about, actually, the vinyl version is a two set. I think it's double set. I think. Anyway, this is an awesome, awesome CD. We'd say the vinyl version on this is awesome. Oh, it actually came out in 2000, so actually they're, they're still going. Um, good CD. Best of the cult. We actually think that... We think you should buy compilations before you buy the albums. Sure. Truthfully. Because compilations give you a chance to get more of the band and the feel of it. Or you buy single albums. Because otherwise you'd be, you'd be stuck. 